Open and Cry, Leviticus 19 and 30. You shall keep my Sabbath and in reverence of my sanctuary. I am the Lord God. Keep the Sabbath, Saturday, the seventh day of the week. The, the calendar has never changed. It's always been the seventh day of the week. And keeping Sabbath is part of the Ten Commandments. Let's go to Deuteronomy 5 and 1. And Moses called all Israel and said unto them, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that you may learn them and keep them and do them. The Sabbaths and feasts are holy days to our Father, and we should acknowledge them as directed in the Bible. There is no place in the Bible that tells you to go to church or holy convocation or assembly on Sunday. That's all it takes for the creep to steal your soul away. Being Christ-like is to keep the Sabbath and holy days or feasts. They are Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits, Pentecost, trumpets, tabernacles, and the day of rest. Let's go to Matthew 26, 17 and 18. Now the first day of the fest of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying unto him, where were you that we prepared for you to eat the Passover? And he said, go into the city to such a man and say unto him, the master says, my time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. Let's go to Luke 6, 5 and 6. And he said unto them that the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. And it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught. And we're talking about Jesus. Jesus kept the Sabbath. And if you want to be Christ-like, you should keep the Sabbath. Matthew 14, 7 through 9. You hypocrites. Well, did Elijah prophecy of you saying, This people drew near unto me with their mouth and honored me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching the doctrines of commandments of men, not God. Going to church or synagogue is not what the Jews say do, it's what God says do. A pagan named Constantine converted people militarily into Christianity and started people going to church on Sunday. Now should you follow the doctrine of a man or what God says do and is written in the Bible? Let's try Exodus 31, 12 through 14. And the Lord spoke unto Moses saying, you speak also to the children of Israel saying, verily my Sabbath you shall keep for this is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I am the Lord that does sanctify you. You shall keep the Sabbath therefore and it is holy unto you. Everyone that defiles it shall surely be put to death. For whoever does any work therein, their soul shall be cut off from among his people. Let's go to Matthew 7, 21 through 23. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall I enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say unto me that day, Lord, Lord, I have professed in your name. And in your name have I cast out devils. And your name done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work in equities. You that don't keep the Sabbath. So you see, you think you're going to go to heaven and all that kind of stuff. But you're not going to church on the Sabbath. And... Your soul has been stolen by the devil. Let's go to Isaiah 58, 13 through 14. If you turn your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, 
the holy of the holy Lord honorable, and you shall honor him, not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasures, nor speaking your own words. Then you shall delight yourself in the Lord, and I will cause you to ride upon high places of the earth, and feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Beware of false prophets. There's many of them. Let's go to Matthew 24, 11 through 13. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because inequity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Let's try Matthew 7, 13 to 15. You shall enter at a straight gate, for a wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many there which be go in there, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads into life, and few be there that find it. Beware of false prophets which come into you as sheep's clothing, but inward they are ravening wolves, ready to eat you up, take your soul away. <coughs> and you thought you was doing good. Please read Leviticus 23, 1 through 44, and Deuteronomy 16, 1 through 17. And go to israelitesadoption.org and read 035, the Holy Sabbath, 036, Feast of the Lord, 037, No Idols or Graven Images, 044, Pray as One, 045, White Raiment, and 046, Sing Praises. Closing Cry, Exodus 20, 8 through 11. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, your God. In it you shall not do any work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, or a manservant, or your maidservant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger that is within your gates. For the sixth day the Lord made heaven and earth the sea, and all them that is, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Keeping Sabbath is part of the Ten Commandments.